I had the opportunity last Sunday night as, as everybody was coming out. And, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to talk. Actually, he was down there in the food pantry helping move some food and, and getting them ready for the, to help feed all those this Thanksgiving week. And, you know, we was down there and we was talking about Christ. And we was talking about a relationship with Him and salvation. I just inquired if He was, if he was saved. And you could have seen it was like turning on a, you know, a switch. He started getting kind of excited. And he started, man, I've been talking to God. I've been wanting to know about this. And, uh, and I thought, wow, you know. There was somebody right there wanting to know about God that was standing right beside us the whole time. And I wonder how much, how many more often times that happens that we neglect and look by. But you know, it was I give God the honor and the glory, and I'm just so thankful and I praise Him that, that you accepted Christ Sunday night, didn't you? We prayed and, and He accepted Christ and made Him the Lord and Savior of His life. Amen. You know, that's incredible. You know, you had legions of angels up there in heaven rejoicing. Amen. You have eternal life, my brother, and we're going to see each other one day up there in the by and by. And I can't wait. Be no pain, no sorrow, no sin. But at this time, I'd like to ask you guys a question. If, this, if you promise that to help him and his Christian discipleship walk, Help him in any areas he needs. Help him to walk through this world as a Christian. Help him in, 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 in Christian discipleship. And promise to love him and welcome him into his church family. And be there for him just like a brother or sister. Then would you just say amen? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Anybody opposed? We'll meet out there. <laughs> say that every time. It's still funny. <laughs> Okay, now if you guys would like to, we, me and Jim, we're going to go back there and get ready. And uh, he wants to be baptized. He, he believes the uh, following the scripture and obedience to believers' baptism. Amen. So if you guys don't mind uh, to have you a few songs or a little bit of fellowship for a second, we're going to get ready and we'll celebrate in his believers' baptism. You know, this is a great, joyous day. And I want to ask if you have anything you want to say. Yeah, thank God for giving me Well, we're awful proud of you. And uh, if you don't mind, we'll just uh, bow our heads in prayer. And if you want, then you guys can, can uh, have a little fellowship with some songs and we'll get ready. And after the baptism, don't run off. He's going to come up here. And why don't you shake his hand and give him a word of encouragement. And uh, just shake his hand welcome in the family, okay? All right, would you bow your heads in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Lord, and give thanks and praise to your name. And, and Lord, it's so glorious and, and so just awesome on a day that we've seen one of yours come to the kingdom. And Lord, follow you in baptism, Lord. Lord, we just praise you and thank you. And we ask that you put your hedge of protection around him. And Lord, just guide him providentially. Lord, lead him with, and be his guide. Lord, you've made that promise, and we know you'll fulfill it. And Lord, we just pray your head of protection around him. You give him courage. You give him strength. You give him wisdom. Yes. But Lord, most of all, you've given him the greatest thing. And that's the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, yes. and his shed blood. And Lord, that's what we give you honor and thanks and glory for. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Experience. <laughs> you know, uh, we're just so happy and glorious that, that we're uh, getting to participate with Jen's name. It's okay. And I just want to talk to you guys and, and him a little bit about baptism and what it is. You know, baptism is uh, it's an outward sign of an inward change. But when we get baptized, here's what is symbolic and what it's representing. We're up here right now in water. And he's fixing to get buried in that water. That's why it's so important to be submerged. Because he's fixing to go down into his funeral and he's fixing to have his watery grave. You're actually attending a funeral for the old man. And he's fixing to go down into the water and he will be buried with Christ. The old man will be buried, but he will rise a new creation in Christ Jesus. And he's making a, a public confession to all of you as well as himself that, that he will be following Christ in this world. That's right. That he will now be following the commands and living the Christian life. And it's going to be our responsibility to help him in that Christian life and in that Christian walk.
So right now, you're at your funeral, and you're fixing to go down to the watery grave to rise a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let me ask you, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Are you willing to follow Him and desiring to follow Him in, in believer's baptism out of obedience to the Scripture?